All right, everybody, we're here on the back 40. Uh, appreciate everybody tuning in. Appreciate y'all watching, liking, subscribing. Um, if you're interested in what we're doing, we just, this is a little bit sometimes each day, not, not every day, but when we get an opportunity, we, when we get a chance and, uh, just fooling with, I'm not the, a great gardener and all this and that and the other, but, uh, want to give you an update on the onions. We're going to pull them up today because we've got a big rain coming in to, uh, start it in this evening and tomorrow got a lot of rain, probably Monday some, but I want to get these onions put up, uh, here before, um, for all this rain, before it gets muddy in here, I want to get this cleaned out, uh, probably this coming week and plant some tomatoes. I'm a little late in the, the planting part right here, but we get, we get some growth, uh, a little later. We're in North Louisiana and, uh, South Louisiana has already got tomato, man, they're harvesting already. And, uh, anyway, but we're getting a late start on it. Now, let me stop yapping and, uh, turn this, um, man, look at the okra. I'm just okra. Listen to me. Corn, uh, corn's coming, corn's coming up uh real nice got some volunteer tomatoes and uh showed you them before uh in our in our garden i'm gonna try to try to leave them try to leave them be but here's the here's the onions notice the the heads are are dying and um they they've about turned brown some of them uh it would be better if they were all like this and uh but you can you can pull them when it when they're when they're pretty near dead like this uh we're gonna see we'll bring you along on the journey all the way through planting in september we'll plant these back in september and uh see all the tops all the blooms are brown and uh so what we're doing here i've pulled these remember i i i dug them up and put them in here if you didn't watch from the earlier videos um i had them planted on the rows but i wanted to plant the, plant the corn and so i pulled these and well, I dug them actually and left them here in the in this and then I'm, I'm coming over here I've uh, grabbed them and what we're gonna do is we'll take these and see all these bulbs all these bulbs will make little bulbs about that big right there and we'll plant that bulb uh, this coming September and every one of these bulbs will make a heel of onions this big or bigger actually uh, Every one of these bulbs will make a heel of onions. This heel of onions come from one bulb and we we harvested off of these onions these green onions um, All since past September since we planted them and uh, we use them quite a bit So what I'll do is I'll break I'll come and I'll break all these off just like this I'll leave them about this long, put them in an onion sack or crawfish sack, whatever you want to call it, and let them dry. And they'll hang in that crawfish sack underneath my barn until September. And then I'll come and take the little bulbs and, uh, again, look like they'll look like this. And, um, and I'll plant them. Let me grab another uh, set of them. Set of them here. And uh, there's some... There's some um, and see these tops, you hear them breaking, and uh, they're thick. And uh, see these, they're not, they're not hollow. Let me see if I can get it to like the others. Uh, let me see here. And it's all right if you, you let them break off right now. Um, let me see, get this. And I don't want to lose no, lose no bulbs. I'm just trying to get some of the, get some of the dirt broke off. I'm not doing it. Maybe shouldn't be quite so close. Y'all bringing y'all with me quite so close. And um, you can leave dirt on there too. And uh, it doesn't matter. You get quite all the dirt. See that hill of bulbs. And I'm going to go and I'm going to heart. I'm going to pick all these. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to grab them. And I'm going to gather them all, all up. And I'm going to look. Make sure my dirt I ain't leaving none behind we don't want none left behind because these things sell five six dollars a pound uh five or six dollars a pound when you can find them all right bear with me for a minute. all right this right here is an onion sack or louisiana we call it a crawfish sack here's a green one and you're taking all of your bulbs that you dug this is one hill see right here there's one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve there's at least twelve 
bulbs right here on this one hill of onions. That'll make 12, that'll make 12 hills right there. And we'll plant each one of these just underneath where the tip sticks, just touches the top of the soil. Plant this under the ground. The roots won't be there. The root, these roots will break off, probably dry up. And uh, you'll take, you'll break these apart gently. Each one of these bulbs, if it's got a little root on it, that's fine. But this will dry completely up. This top will be brown. It'll come off. And um, anyway, and uh, you'll dig, put that in the ground. Just stick it in the ground, just that deep, just, just that deep right there. And just, just with the tip sticking up. Try not to let the chickens dig them up. They dug half a hill for mine. And then you put this where it'll breathe. I've split them between two sacks here, excuse me. And what I'll do is I'll take this sack and uh, you can put them in something, whatever you got, just so they can breathe. And uh, what I'll do is I'm gonna bring this in the chicken pen here. Oh, sorry, y'all went on that ride there. Fell to the ground. And I'm gonna bring these in here and hang these on a nail right there get this other sack and if you put them in a box or put them in something uh just want to keep them out of the weather keep them out of the rain and uh hang them and uh we're not to get to them and i'll leave them hanging right there till september and we'll come out and we'll get them out of there and we'll plant them in the garden well thank y'all for coming with me and uh seeing how we did this anyway and uh well all right i'll see y'all get the the corn right there we'll bring you on that journey and uh sometime at the end of june prayerfully and uh we'll have and, uh anyway y'all have a blessed day folks go to church tomorrow today's saturday man get in church I tell you something, you won't regret it. Get your family in church. Raise them babies in church. Get in a good King James Bible uh, church that uses the Bible and preaches King Jesus. Amen. That preaches Jesus is the only way to heaven. Why we preach that? Because the Bible said, Jesus said, I'm the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. Jesus said, I'm the door. By me, if any man enter any, shall be saved. Amen. By Jesus Christ. Why by Jesus Christ alone? Because Jesus died on the cross, shed his own precious blood, paid our sin debt, died for our sins, according to the scriptures, was buried and rose again, according to the scriptures, so that you and I can look to him for salvation to be our only hope for heaven. The Bible says, If thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus and believe in thine heart, God raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. For with the heart man believeth unto righteousness, with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved, the Bible says. Listen, that is not the believing up here, but the believing in the heart. With the heart man believeth unto righteousness. Completely, totally trusting in him is your only hope for heaven. Hey, I hope I see you there more than I do seeing you right here. Hey, go to church tomorrow. Y'all have a blessed day.